Hey guys, welcome back to another video on PS4 Linux. From my recent videos you would have already gathered, I have been tinkering with OpenWRT. I wanted to try a hell lot of applications and that's when I hit a roadblock. This is pretty common among routers that they have very limited space for installation of applications. That is what we're gonna fix in this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you could increase or expand the internal storage on your router or any other OpenWRT device using a USB drive Technically, this can be done with a memory card and even a hard drive. But in this tutorial, we are, we are going to be concentrating on USB based devices. Let me just clarify that this also includes a hard drive when it is plugged into the router using a SATA to USB adapter. Now, this expansion is made possible by OpenWRT's Ext root. This is the official documentation for Ext root. You can go through that. It also has a good tutorial on setting this up. But in this video, in this step by step tutorial, I will be explaining all of these steps and beyond that we'll be going beyond that because we will also be discussing setting up of extrude on those routers and devices which have extremely low storage. So you could also go through this documentation, but this video is especially for beginners of a people who want a step by step tutorial for the whole process. OK, so as usual, we're going to begin with the requirements. This obviously requires a device that is running OpenWRT with a USB port. And if you're using an Amplify HD, the tutorial for installing OpenWRT on Amplify HD has already been uploaded on my channel. You can check that out as well. Also check the description for the link to that video. OK, if you're already using OpenWRT on Amplify HD and want to try Xtrude out, then you will have to update the package using the same tutorial. Again, the link for the new updated image for Amplify HD with inbuilt Lucy, USB and Xtrude dependencies is in the description below you can check that out as well okay now moving on to the second requirement that is ssh or terminal access to open wrt device obviously you will need to know the router's ip and will need an application like putty to connect to the router via ssh or you could also use lucy's terminal panel if you have that already installed okay and then obviously you're going to require a usb drive the size of the usb drive depends on your requirements what kind of applications are you, are you trying to install Anyways, I would uh, recommend that you go for a USB drive at least 4 GB or higher. OK, and then you're also going to require a Linux machine. The distro doesn't matter and it also doesn't matter if you're running live CD or an installed machine. And it also doesn't matter if you're running it on a PC or a device or on a virtual machine like VirtualBox. I'm going to be running a live CD of Ubuntu on VirtualBox, but it depends on you what you want to go with. OK, and moreover, this Linux distro is only required if you're trying to set up Xtrude for a router that has extremely low storage. We're going to be talking about those devices and a solution to install or set up extrude on these devices later in the video. So keep watching. OK, so that's it for the requirements, the basic requirements. Now we're going to jump into the tutorial directly. Step one of the tutorial is obviously installing the packages required for extrude to run properly. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly connect to my router via SSH using putty and I'm going to log in as a root. OK. So this is me logged in as root on my Amplify HD router running OpenWRT. As you can see, it says root here. OK, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to update the packages to do that. What I'm going to do is type OPKG space update and then press enter. OK. Now that the update is complete, we're going to decide how we're going to install the packages required for Xtrude. Remember, this depends on the internal storage that is currently available on your router or device. To explain this in a better way, I have made a flowchart and this is a complex looking flowchart, but let me make it very simple for you. OK, let me begin from the top, this left portion. OK, so if you have an Amplify HD, all you have to do is flash the image that is provided in the description, the link in the description. OK, go check, go to check that out. And this already has Lucy USB and extrude support. Just flash that image and move on to step two method one. OK, there are two methods for installing the extrude packages and setting it up. If you don't have an Amplify HD or you're using any other router that is already running OpenWRT or for that matter, any other device that runs OpenWRT, this is what you have to run on your terminal soon after you have run OPKG update. OK, this is a command that will install these packages that is block mount X4 E2FS procs parted usb storage usb storage uas and usb 2. a majority of these applications are actually required to have the usb detected okay on your router also do note that if you have a usb 3.0 port on your router replace usb 2 with usb 3 as this small notification says on the side okay now if this command does work successfully as you can see right here that is it installs perfectly without any errors you can just proceed to step 2 method 1 
okay but if that doesn't work that is due to an uh, error or due to insufficient space insufficient space is the error that you should be looking for if it's a kernel based error you can in most cases ignore it but if it does say that it could not install due to insufficient space this is what you're going to do next you're going to remove two packages from the list that is we're going to remove e2fs progs and parted and we're going to try to install these basic packages which are required for usb identification okay so we're going to run this command on our terminal and see if that does install if it works just proceed to step two method two okay not method one but method two but if even these basic applications give you an error that says that you don't have sufficient space you are running a device with very low storage okay in this case the only option left for you to try is making a custom image check the article to see which applications or uh, which packages you need in this custom image okay but as for the actual process of making a custom image we are not going to cover that in this article you can google that okay once you have made the custom image and flash that on your onto your router or uh, open wrt device just proceed to step two method two so that covers our first step that is installing the packages for extrude okay i've already done that on my uh, amplify hd as you can see because i'm running open wrt on my amplify hd with the latest image which already supports lucy usb and extrude meaning it has all these apps pre-installed or within that image i can directly move on to step two method one which is what we're going to discuss next okay so we're going to move on to step two so what is step two in step two we're going to prepare the usb for extrude as already talked about in the earlier step this has two methods with which we can do that the first method involves setting up the usb using the router itself the second method involves using a linux machine running on a virtual box or any other software or even for that matter a fully installed linux distro on another machine to set up the usb drive I'm going to show you both those methods starting with the first one that is method one using the open wrt router okay now the first step here is to plug your usb drive into the open wrt router okay once it is plugged in i'm going to go back to my ssh and uh, find out the device identifier for this newly plugged in usb drive to do that i'm going to type the command ls space hyphen small l space slash sys slash block okay and then press enter now this is going to list all the block partitions that are available on your device right now we're going to be looking for this particular thing that says sda okay this sda is a usb drive if you have multiple usb drives plugged into your uh, router remove the usb drive and run this command again and then plug it back in and then run the command again to see which one of these is your devices in my case it's obvious that it is sda okay now once you have that set what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the first command that is disk is equal to double inverted quotes. Okay. And then forward slash dev slash SDA. If SDA is something else in your case, do provide that here and then close the inverted comma. Okay. And then press enter. Now the rest of the commands have already been provided on my blog as well as on uh, the official page of OpenWRT. We're going to copy those commands one by one here and each line is a new command. Okay. You have to type that command in or paste a command in and press enter and then move on to the next line. Okay. For example, this is the second command. It will set a GPT system on this particular partition. And then we're going to move on to the next step. That is uh, this ad actually adds a new partition that is slash dev slash SDA one. And then we come to the fourth command, which actually makes the ext4 partition on slash dev slash sda1 okay once that is done just press enter it asks if you want to proceed anyway because this usb drive already had two partitions in it it is asking if you want to remove those yes basically so i'm going to press y and press enter and that's done as well okay so we have already prepared the ext4 partition on the usb drive okay and that was method one for you guys okay now let's say following the flowchart that I showed you in the earlier step, you were asked to move on to proceed. Step two, method two, this is what you're going to do. You're going to start a virtual machine or anything else running a Linux distro. In my case, I'm going to be choosing Ubuntu as I've already said. Okay. Now, once you're on your Ubuntu or whatever Linux machine, make sure that you have plugged the USB drive into the Linux machine and then open a terminal by pressing on control alt and T together. That's what we use on Ubuntu based on your distro. This might be different. Okay just get into a terminal and then type ls space hyphen l space slash sys slash block okay this will list all the uh, uh devices that are connected sda is what we are looking for that is our pen drive or usb drive that we just plugged in okay now we'll have to make a note of this that is sda 
But before moving on to the next uh, step in the commands, what we're going to do is open the file manager and see if it is already mounted. This is the new volume that pertains to my USB drive. Just make sure that all the partitions on this drive are unmounted, not ejected, but unmounted. To do that, all you have to do is right click on it and click on unmount. Okay. If you don't unmount right now, what happens is that the process, the commands that we're going to run will fail. Okay. To prevent that, I just unmounted them. Okay. Now type disk is equal to inverted commas. That is double inverted commas forward slash dev slash SDA, which is my device right here. If yours is different, just type that as well. Okay. And then press enter and then type in the next command. As I've already explained during explaining method one, you have to type these commands one by one that are available on my blog and even on Xtrude's configuration page on um, OpenWRT's website. Each line is a new command. You have to type them one by one and press enter. This is the second command which prepares our partition or our device. Okay. If it says permission is denied, all you have to do is go to the starting of the command and then type sudo. Okay. This will complete that. Now the next command sets our uh, device for making the partition that is the ext4 partition that is disk one which pertains to slash dev slash sda1 okay and then press enter now we come to the last and the final command which actually makes the ext4 partition on slash dev slash sda1 okay again this will require the sudo command okay so i'm gonna prefix sudo to this command and press enter and that's gonna take some time and that's it it's done okay so that completes the second step of the process that is preparing the USB drive for Xtrude. Okay. Now we move on to the third step that is configuring Xtrude for our open WRT device. If you, if you were following method one in step two, your USB drive is already plugged into the open WRT router. But if you followed method two, I'm pretty sure that your USB drive is still in your Linux machine. Just unplug it from there and plug it into the open WRT router right now. Okay. And if you followed method two, I would make sure that we still have our device identifier intact. To do that, I'm going to run the same command again. That is this one. Okay. And as you can see, it still says slash dev slash SDA. So this is what we require. But also remember that if you used method two, you will have to add this little command here. That is device is equal to double inverted commas forward slash dev forward slash again SDA one this time. Okay. One and then close the inverted commas and press enter this additional command that you see right here is not actually required if you followed method one okay in step two but if you followed method two this is required now let me quickly clear my terminal window and then i have given each of these commands on my blog and this is also available on open wrt's xtrude page you can copy those from there and paste these one by one again each line is a new command each command has to be pasted here and then you have to press enter and then continue this till the whole process is complete okay there are up to 10 to 11 commands in total i'm going to quickly run through them now these were the commands that we used one by one as you can see each of these were run one by one uh, as you can see on your screen right now now with this we have successfully set up the overlay and have added the fs tap entries for both the original overlay and the one on our usb drive okay now before we move further let us just quickly jump into our lucy web page and see how much space we have left right now okay as you can see, I just went to system and my software page and it says I only have 84 KB free. Now let's work our extrude magic out and see how much space we have after the process. Okay. Now that the FS tab entries are successfully listed here and we have already run those commands, we need to transfer the data from the original overlay to the one we created for extrude USB. Okay. Let me quickly clear this page right here and show you the two commands that we need to run one after the other. Each line is a new command. Remember that on my blog and even on extrude page, we find that each command is a new line that we have to run one by one. Okay. This is your first command. Let's just paste it and press enter. Once that is run completely, this is our second command and then press enter to help it run. And this means that we have already successfully moved from the original overlay to the USB. One. And now we are ready to see if this works or not. To do that, what I'm going to do is on my SSH window, I'm going to type reboot to reboot the router. Now we'll be disconnected from the SSH window until the reboot is complete. Let's just wait for that. Okay. And guys, happy to inform you that the reboot was successful. Now we are on the same page again. Let's quickly try reloading this page to see if that bar changes. Okay. If you face an error like this, where it's taking a lot of time, all you have to do is just reload this page completely. Okay. Just go to the home page. 
by removing anything in between and then we're going to go into system and then software okay and wait for that to load and as you can see it says zero percent is used and i've got 28 gb of free space on my router so this means that extrude configuration was successful now go crazy install any apps you want try them out you know or uh, tinker with them and do whatever you want open wrt opens up a lot of possibilities but be responsible when you play with it okay be mindful of your legal and uh, other regional restrictions if any okay and i would also like to mention a good advantage of using this method even if your usb drive plugged into your router running as your extrude usb fails at some point in the future it will always revert back to the original overlay your router will not fail to boot so that's it for this video guys i'll see you in the next video okay but till then goodbye